Boris Johnson is ready to break his 2019 election manifesto promise not to raise taxes in order to address weaknesses in the social care system. So let's take a look at how much this would cost, the current problems with the social care system and why this proposal is being opposed. The total cost of the social care package is estimated at £10 billion a year once fully implemented. To fund this, the government is planning to increase national insurance by 1%. This would mean that workers earning 20,000 a year would pay an extra 104 pounds a year in national insurance, while those earning 40,000 pounds and 60,000 pounds would respectively pay 304 and 504 more. But national insurance is also paid by employers who pay at a rate of 13.8% on wages of above 9,000 a year. If this was also to be raised, then businesses could look to pass on the extra cost through lower wages or higher prices. There is undeniably a problem to address in the current social care system. Many people have to sell their homes in order to afford the rising private care costs, while those without private means are left without the publicly funded care that they need. As an example, between 2015 and 2020, the number of adults receiving long-term support arranged by local authorities fell from 873,000 to 839,000, even as the population aged. Meanwhile, local authorities with tight budgets try to pay carers as little as possible. This means the 1.5 million people who work in social care struggle with low pay, zero hour contracts and insufficient training. However, the proposal to raise national insurance has not been received well, particularly by conservative MPs who fear the reputational damage of breaching one of their manifesto pledges. As the Conservative Party manifesto said in 2019, we promise not to raise the rates of income tax, national insurance or VAT. We not only want to freeze taxes, but to cut them too. Aside from this, the main points raised by those opposing the rise in national insurance have been that firstly, it will be an unfair burden on younger people, since national insurance contributions are only paid by workers under the state pension age. And some also say that this would negatively affect the companies trying to recover from the COVID pandemic. A second point is that raising national insurance would be less progressive than increasing income tax. Unlike the rate of income tax, which rises once you reach earnings of about £50,000, national insurance falls at that point. That means an increase would have a proportionally smaller impact on higher earners. Another important point is that national insurance is only paid on income, while income tax also keeps in account income received from property or investment. This could be another point that indirectly benefits the richer individuals who derive most of their income from property or investment. A third point is that raising national insurance would increase the gap in taxation between those self-employed and those employed. And this is already seen as a problem that is distorting the labor market. And it could ultimately lead businesses to classify their employees as self-employed, thus depriving them of their employment rights in order to avoid the extra tax. And some major figures in the political sphere have also addressed Johnson's proposal. Lord Hammond, the former chancellor, said that the hike in national insurance was wrong and would provoke a significant backlash against the government. Boris Johnson is also expected to announce a further £5.5 billion funding for the NHS. This is aimed as a down payment to help the NHS through the coming winter and start tackling the backlog of patients before the extra money from a rise in national insurance comes rolling in in April next year. So thank you for watching our videos. Please do let us know what do you think about this strategy? Do you think it is correct to raise national insurance to address the social care reform? Or would you suggest another potential strategy? Let us know in the comments, leave us a like and do subscribe to the channel if for more content like this. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you next time.